Here we go. Let's go, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of The Floor is Ours. It's your boy. Let me reintroduce myself, first of all. First episode, I didn't get to say my name. It's your boy, Nasty Mike. Let's go. Follow by. We got a we got a special guest in the building today. It's our sister, Mama. What's up, Mama? Welcome, Mama. Mama. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me. And also, happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, birthday. Happy birthday. It's a birthday. birthday. Hey. Cheers, cheers, blessings, cheers. Blessings, cheers, salud. <laughs> you drinking over there, Reek? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, Reek, what are you drinking over there? Pineapple vodka. Pineapple oh, pineapple vodka. vodka. <laughs> Goes down smooth, I heard. That What's is my go-to. The floor is yours. That is my go-to drink. Oh, yeah. What you got for us, Mama? What you got for us? You guys, I'm so excited. Thank you for having me. I can't, I'm like so excited to be here. When I was talking about your podcast with pretty much all my friends, I was like, I really got to take advantage when I am a guest on their podcast. And I mean, these are four guys who I love. I admire. They're, they're really great men. And I think I've gone to all of them for advice at one point or another, you know, and I would love to pick their brain because I have several of my girlfriends, including myself, where we are single and and that's fine like i'm happy right but i just want to like see okay are we doing something wrong are we are we expecting too much maybe our standards are too little so i just want to like pick your brain and, and give you guys some scenarios for any girls that are listening that it would it would help them yeah. so my first scenario is okay Wait, real, real quick when you yes. say a couple of you how many girls are we talking about that are single just like you <laughs> I want to say like at least at least seven of my close oh girlfriends. My okay, okay, so then I think that's your problem right there because you have seven <laughs> single no, ones. No. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, like I said, I think that's the problem right there because you said you got seven single friends. So technically, you have seven single friends that are trying to find somebody. So if one does find somebody, the other six are left out. Like, oh, no, you got to find yourself. You have no somewhere. married friends? You yeah, have no, no married friends? I do, I do. You can ask oh. me how many married friends I have. Okay. I have a bunch right, of married well, friends. We're saying single. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead. okay. So, but All listen, right. hear me out. How long have you been in a committed relationship, Michael? I'll be 20 years in February. Exactly. It so you don't know what the single... You don't know what the dating life is like because you've been yeah, out of Mike it. Don't know what long. that's like. No, it, no. It, we, 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 we don't, but I can, no. I can attest to what I see and my opinion. So oh, my opinion, course. real right. quick, 100%. of it right now, I blame it all on social media. Everything yeah. is too easy access. Yeah, There's no work for it no more. Like I said, back yeah. in the day, you had to work to get a picture. Mm -hmm. A picture in, some, in, in, in their pajamas or whatever it is. Now you could just go through Instagram, TikTok, and be like, oh, there DM, she goes in her bikini. DM any there she female. goes in her pajamas. Yeah. You have a chance. Nope, next, yeah. next, yeah. next. Yeah. It's too yeah. accessible for everybody. <clears throat> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's my opinion, and that's what <clears throat> I think. It is harder. There's no more, let me take you on a date, let me do this, let because everybody's comparing to what the other person got through TikTok and his Instagram, stuff like that. It's spoiled. It's just it's rotten. You but know, you also so made a comment out. too. You also so, made a comment that your standards may be too low. Maybe, maybe your too standards high. are too high. Well, you well, let me explain. I agree. Let me so you think my standards are, are too high. No, no, no I don't no, know. You're we're not saying that. We're no, not saying that. Yeah. But you're saying that could be yeah. a possibility. You said they yeah. were too low, so we're not saying it might be too high. Yeah. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta give you gotta what what they say, um um not sacrifice the other word that you have to um compromise. compromise. You know, there's some things you have to be like, maybe he no, got and this, I'm, but listen. I'm all for compromise. I will give you guys a brief rundown of an ex like a, a example, not quite my relationship, but like maybe one of my girlfriends or something. And you tell me if our standards are too low, too high, or maybe we're just attracting or, or okay. we need to, you know? So for example, okay. If you're in a dating phase with a girl, which you guys have all been there, you're in a dating phase with a girl. Let's just say you guys have been dating for six months. You're not living together yet, but you're dating for six months. You're in a committed relationship. You're only seeing each other, right? Um, what exactly are you doing for this girl at six months? As far as are you maybe paying for her nails to get done? Are you paying for her gas? Or are you just paying for dinners when you guys go out to eat? You definitely in the first six months, at least as far as I can remember, man, like Mike, whew, this was many moons ago. You definitely tend to do a little extra those first you know, you go all out. You're trying to woo. 
you know, you're trying to, you know, and it, it does tend to become a little more comfortable after a certain amount of time. Mm. That's for sure. I, I've, I want to say you know? I would have to slightly disagree because in the six months, mm. you're, talking, you, you're talking about six months here. So you're talking about me paying for a girl's nails or hair, whatever it is. That's you're, you're, you're setting I'm yourself not up saying already. going all up. No, no, all not, that. No, that's what I'm saying. But you she's do saying a lot of oh, extra you, things those early on. I'm asking, I'm asking, what do you give at six months no, when you. At six right. months, it's still. It's through Texas, through you know, stuff on yeah. the phone, like meet up, let's go to the movies, let's go dinner. Right. There's nothing I'm not paying any extra than I have to like going to the movie, paying for dinner, opening the door for you, stuff like that. But I'm not You're buying, not I'm not I'm not paying for no nails right up front of for six months. Oh, because no, that's that, that's money so wise. The nails, he's, saying, so he's saying he's saying yeah. to take care of you extra. Right. Not dinner, not a movie, not stuff mm-hmm. like that. He's saying extra for you to take care of yourself is what he's that trying sounds to say. like more of a solid relationship yeah. status. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, you're yeah. seeing yeah. a solid relationship. All right, yeah, you're gonna pay for things here and yeah, there. That's what I'm asking. You know, if you're in a solid you're committed, relationship, if you're in yeah, a solid, solid committed relationship, relationship what are you doing yeah. for your girl? A solid relationship? Solid relationship. Oh, yeah, so that's that's, that's, that's done. Yeah. Here, babe, yeah, go whatever go, she needs. Go do your hair, go do your nails today, you know, stuff like that. That's what you're doing. You know, so you pull up to a gas now, station. Does that happen driving. more often and not nowadays? I don't think so. No, no, I'm, I'm, a lot, no. So if you're pulling up to a gas station and it's your committed girlfriend, right? And it's her mm. car, you're driving. Are you going to pay for the gas? Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jumping yeah, out of the car, you pump in the gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think okay. I can, I can so vouch for say time, we've yeah. all done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's safe that's to a... say that if we're dating a guy and we're in a committed relationship and he's not putting the gas in our car when he's driving, our standards are too low. No, no, I think he, then he that's that's not a man that's right there. That's, that's I mean, yeah, that's and, and you also said you're six months in. All right. Do you know whether he actually has it or not? Like, do you yeah. know whether he maybe, you know, maybe the guy doesn't really have it that he can actually do it. That's true you know, so and, and, and what I think, at least. Are you expecting to people... be with a man that has the money all the time? Are you expecting someone to do that for you? You know what I mean? Is, is that what you're looking for? Is that what you need? It depends on the girl. It depends on and, not not you necessarily, but yeah. it depends what the girl is looking for. If it's a girl going into a relationship for any looking for any that, amount, yeah, that, yeah. looking just yeah. for that. I mean, yeah. I feel like me personally, you're going into it for the wrong way already. That's that's yeah. me. Yeah. That's okay. That's good. So now, if you're now you're dating this girl, you you guys are in a serious committed relationship. How long until you want to move in with her? Oh. That that that, that all depends on the fuck. person. Like if. If Talks. he already has his own place, I'm not you answering know? that anymore. You know, if I live at home with my mama and you got your own place, I'm moving in with you. All right. <laughs> 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 I'm just I'm just saying no, but if I have my own place, you got your own place, I gotta see more. I can't give up what I just had invested in, you know. I worked hard for and because yeah. I you know I felt I fell in love with you or stuff like that. I think anything longer more, than... it's gonna take that's a mutual, longer yeah, and that's a mutual decision. That's not yeah, like but, whether mm-hmm. I want to decide that, you know, that's got to come between both of you. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. then it's just the circumstances. But at what time frame do you guys want to live with the girl? You guys both have to know at the end of the day. It can't be like yeah. you're ready, but he's not. And you want to bring it up. You both got to be ready for yeah, it like, at the end of the like day. He could come up to you like, hey, listen, I want to take this further with you. You know, you have your own place. I have my own place. You know, what, what do you think about joining together? You know, like come live with me or I come live with you. And then we could make this work. That's something like that's that that, that does definitely happen down the yeah. road though. After I think year two, ish, you know, I'm being well, honest. Like you don't know, like you said, how if it's the moment too. Like I, you know, it could be a year. You could be six months, and things could be going yeah, great. Quick. And you, you, it, it, if you it, could it, feel like it's that, yeah, and yo, know, if it's something you guys feel is comfortable to I, do, I, it's all I depends. Always, said, always but, you know, like every time in the, the beginning. Every, it's always beautiful. Everything is perfect yeah, that is in, the, in the beginning. Yeah, I love you. I love. I can't. True. I can't yeah. be. I can't be without you. I need to wake stage, up next to you. Stage, yep. Yeah, yeah that's stage. all it is. But then after yeah. you move in with that person, then you see that person's flaws. You see that especially person when the way you move they in are. together. Like you yeah. said. Especially when you move in together. You know, that's yeah. why I think that it's at least like two years. I would say. Yeah. So you really Definitely. get to know the person. Start seeing real changes and stuff like that. But I mean, there's people that change, and there's some people that are just solid and just you know. Mm-hmm. Continue on is always how uh, just how they are. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah, you do find those people within the first six months. They want to do everything together. They want to live right away. Hop on that. You know what I'm saying? And then I would say it, it's a short relationship after that. It could you work, know? but it's just rare. It's rare. It it's rare. Now rare. in these these days, yeah. it's rare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
What else you got? What about what about the gym? Do do you think that it's okay to approach a guy or girl at the gym? Gym code is no to make it short and sweet. Mm-hmm. But there is people that do it and don't care. I I've, I know people who are, are dating yeah. today in a serious relationship yeah. and they they met at the gym. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is. I don't know. Cause I don't. I don't go to the gym. Yeah. No. <laughs> what's, what's a you gym? <laughs> what is this you speak of? What is that? This is my gym. I, get. <laughs> I break it down. You know what I'm saying? But no, like, it's everything. I just. Huh, I don't like know. If there's like, a connection, say, sometimes you feel it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. A connection yeah. could be could be anywhere. Anywhere. It doesn't yeah, it doesn't have to be. It could I mean, be you gym, can approach it somebody be, in, in freaking yeah. church if it, if it yeah. comes yeah. down to it. I mean, I think yeah. they, say, oh, you don't meet to somebody be, when you go be. to the club. That's a no no. You shouldn't meet somebody that shouldn't be because she's that's what you met her at. You know, it's just, it's everything is different. Anyway, yeah. you can meet yeah. somebody <clears> walking <throat> to the store at the job, anywhere, and it's, you know. If you know he's feeling you and you're feeling him, why the fuck not? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? It doesn't matter where it is. Yeah. Now, are these okay. also questions from your single friends, or these are all you? <laughs> 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 who are we, who are we helping out here? <laughs> a friend. No, and then a friend. Another question. Helping out a friend. a friend. I'm asking for a friend for a friend. <laughs> a friend. Okay. So the girl, so, so there's like a bunch of like me and my friends. We're pretty much all single, right? And then one gets into yep. a relationship, and her if her man doesn't want her going out with her single friends anymore, like wh- how do you feel about that? Like we've been there for nah. her from day one. No. Yeah, no, that, no. I, I don't no, agree with that. No, that no. he should. You still should be able to have your friends. I yeah. feel like. I mean, so you're still gonna let her go out and have girl night and 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 go out for um you know happy hour and Why ladies not? night. Listen, yeah. mama, at our age, at at 21 and night and 20 and yeah, 19, I agree. Maybe at that age, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you would yeah. feel some type of way. Yeah, yeah. but at our age. I can in a relationship, I have fun. there's no trust, <laughs> there's no point of being together with the person. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what it is. Uh, and listen, so, I can so Rico, that. you're okay with your girl, your girl going out for ladies' night and happy hour with her? If my girl friend. wanted to go hang out at the end of the day, I I trust her, no matter what. But mm-hmm. wouldn't bother me. If my girl, gonna do, is, if someone's gonna do something, me, they she trust me enough. Regardless. To say, go out, hang out with your brothers, go this, go, you know, hang out, go play golf, whatever the case is, or whatever I go do. She yeah. trusts me enough to do that. I trust her enough to go do that. Fox. Hey, that guys are going to come up to her. Guys may come up to her. Guys may, you know, you know, let me do. But at the end of the day, I trust her enough to make the right decisions. She's coming back home to me. Yeah. And I can, I, can att- I can second that because, like I said, like he said, when you were young, like I, I can admit to that. When I was young, I was a jealous person, very jealous. Yeah, yeah and like I'm like I would for anything. She can yeah. tell you that too. I was. Yeah. As you get older, and it sucks to say that, but as you get older, then you realize, you know, you, who are you? You're not their parent. You're not their father. Yeah, exactly. Let yeah. them live their life. That's how they're gonna love you even more. You know. Yeah, and yeah. that's my wrong for doing for not letting it happen at that time. But thank God. We're still together 20 years strong, you know, right. and yeah. it has happened. Like I said, everything is about sacrificing, compromising. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to, that's, that's, like I said, there's going to be, there's no, there's no one to say there's going to be more ups and downs, more downs, ups. It's you guys got to make it work, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah, right. You know, if you really want to be with that person, you're going to fight for that person. You're going to be with that person through thick and thin, everything. You know what I'm saying? So if that person really loves you and will love you for who you are, you're going to see that mama, you know? Yeah. That's just that's how it is. Like I said, and everybody, like I said, and I'm telling you, and I refer back to social media. A lot of girls put this stuff on there, so it shows other single girls. It, oh, I can have that. I need yeah. that. Or oh, why? Why can't I have that? You yeah. know, and it's and that. It shows other guys that it's just easy to obtain. You know, so well, at least it makes they think guys, it oh, is. That guy, yeah, but that guy's yeah. buying me Louis Vuitton. This see, guy's buying me. That whole me. social media thing and and posting everything and yep. seeing everything. You'd be surprised. Those be the those be the relationships that. Be the worst. Be yeah. the worst yeah. social media. Yeah. Yeah. Behind all those pictures and yeah. everything, those be the yep. worst relationships. Yep. So, so, so I mean, like the mirrors and shit. Yeah, yeah. smokes yeah. and mirrors. That's yeah. for sure. Yep. yep. And then definitely. And then, and trust well, hey. What about what about kids? So you guys all have kids. What mm-hmm. if you were in the in the dating scene? How yeah. long would you wait to introduce your like the person you're dating to your kids? Because I know people who will do it really quick because they want to see if the kids and the guy get along. And then there's me who I'm like, I'm going to wait six months before I bring any man around my child. I think it depends on the age of the kid also. I mean, if your kid's grown, 
something he can handle, your kid can handle, yeah. obviously you're good there. It's young kids though, you know, maybe maybe at less than 12, maybe because you're not a teenager, you know, you start as a teenager, you start understanding a little more, you know, a little younger. I would and I gotta get a feel I just think I just think, yeah, you gotta get a feel for the yeah, person, you gotta yeah, make yeah. sure it's something definitely serious. Not right away. Yeah, definitely it's gotta be something not right away. serious and solid before you do that. Yeah. And especially if you have girls, because remember, the girl is gonna look up to you. Yeah. So if you want your girls to go the same thing like you, you don't want to mm -hmm. do that. And like I said, remember, at the end of the day, the guy is not in it for you. If when he's there, he's got to love your kids just as much as he loves you. Love everybody. It's a total you know what I'm saying? Total he he got to know, like, listen, she's coming with two or three kids. I got to love them like if they were mine. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's, that's the key to your heart. You know, because yeah. he could love you and give shits about your kids. That's a no-no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And oh, as much as a lot of girls do that, it's all about the guy. They want to push the kids to the side. That's bad. You know, yeah. I don't like that. You At the end of the day, that, you know they're gonna tell you what they want, what you want to hear in the beginning. So you gotta true. make sure that shit's mm -hmm. official, official, and he's the right one for your damn kids. At the end of the day, yeah. that's all it is. That, you, that should be your, that, that should be your mindset, no matter what. If you see that guy coming in your life, whatever he knows, you got two kids. You're a single mother, right? And yeah. she like you can have a five and a fifteen year old, whatever. Hey, babe, I, I know you're busy. Let me go pick up one of the kids. You need any help? Stuff like that. Stuff like that, right there, showing you that he wants to be a part of your life and your kids' part. Right there says it all. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like he never says, "Oh, listen, what do you like? What are we doing with your kids? Or you need any help? Anything yeah, like yeah, that?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if it's all about you and none of your kids, and he don't want to be around them. Or it's like, yeah. "Oh, when are we gonna have time for each other?" No, it's yeah. collective. You gotta be willing you know to saying? take you on a date with all of you with guys. the kids. No, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. go to the fair. Let's go to the mood. Like all of yeah. us, you know, not just yeah. just not just it can't you. just always be you. No. Yeah, you're right. No, no, no. As much Obviously, as you, you, you gotta know, have you time. Are, just, right, you gotta have time. Yeah, for so, you, yeah, yeah. It's gotta be time for you guys. It's as much as important, you know, yeah. as anything. So you're definitely like a, right like about a, that. Like at the end of the day, if me and my wife divorce, my kids come first. If I ever meet somebody yeah. else, my kids come first. No, you gotta love my kids before you love me because if I bring them around you. You mean you know what I'm saying? That's how it yeah. is, mama. Yeah. You know, that's that's the like I said. You ask for our opinions. That's what we're gonna give you. you so know, you guys would wait. So it sounds like you guys would wait a few months. You gotta, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. yeah. Maybe I would yeah. say more than a few months. I mean, you gotta. Yeah. It's your kids we're talking about. It's not like yeah. again, I mean? like especially when you have young kids. Like I said. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if you have a 16, 17 year old kid, yo, yo, hey, this is who I'm. They gotta be around. They gotta be around. You know. Yeah. You know, they can handle it a little bit more than young yeah. kids can, you know. I mean, you never, you, you never, I guess you're never really going to know when the right exact time is. Nope. But, right. you know, you got to feel like you somewhat in a way maybe trust the person. Yeah. Have oh, them yeah. around your kids. Yep. You know what I mean? Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Hey, good stuff. Anything else for your single friends? <laughs> <laughs> Can we answer them all? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they. I'm sure they. Listen. Yeah. Let them like, share, follow, request, subscribe. Everything. All right. We help out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Together. You got, any, you got anything else, Mama? No, not that I could think of. Actually, you guys answered a lot of my questions. Thank you. No, we're You're always. Welcome. You know? Always here to help. <laughs> always here. Hey, to help. like you said at the beginning, like you come to all of us for advice, you know, and it's a lot of like you said, we all sometimes are not on the same page. Yeah. So when it comes to that, who do you not 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 saying you choose, but who do you like? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, like staying green. Mike, Mike, we don't have this right now. We don't have this right now. It's a really good question. It's a good question. Yeah, no. So um now I want to know. My brother's yeah. mean. My brother's mean. Michael, because we're all your brother. Yeah, yes. sorry. Michael's really mean. <laughs> yeah. Is he mean? Hold on. Is he mean or is, is he, he mean? Or is he more blunt? Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. He's just more I direct. We all know he could be mean and not be rude. Right, right. He don't sugarcoat shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't. No, no, no. Not only does he not sugarcoat, he's mean about it. No, no, we know. What are you crying for? Like, God forbid, I call him crying. What are you crying for? Get off my phone. If you want to be a big baby, like, go somewhere with that. Like, and it's just like mean about it. And then he's like, "It's true." I'm about you. Like, you're so stupid. He's out there with another woman right now, and I'm like, they don't call him nasty Mike for no reason. There you go. That's fucking nasty. Listen, hey, at the end of the day, I just tell her every time I say, "Mama, you want my opinion." I'm gonna give it to you, and then I'm gonna tell you. Like I said, I love you to death, and like I said, I'm gonna give it to you the way. Like I'm a straight blunt with you because right. I'd rather you hear from me than somebody else. But like, it's gonna be okay, Mama. No, no, give me yeah, no, right. no bullshit. Because right? everybody else like is I gonna said, be doing I, that. I know yeah. as a man what that he's doing. True. You know what that I'm saying? True. You know he, he's doing. Like I said, 
And like I said, you got three other brothers that you're going to call after me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I gave you the blunt shit. Maybe Rico's going to sugarcoat it. Maybe this was going to hug you. Maybe this was going to... You know? Uh, <laughs> no, Rico, Rico's too Rico's too quiet and relaxed no, no. For, for, you my, need... for, for my advice. He's just going to be like, this is no, Rico, this even... is Rico. Hold on, this is Rico. Oh, no, mama. <laughs> that just shows you when it comes to like drama i just like to take i just like to leave the drama and everything you know like i like i I stay clear of it i stay clear of it all exactly (laughs) most of the time we're saying we can't get in contact with that guy you know what i'm saying (laughs) it's hard to reach this guy very hard Got a lot going on. Got a lot, a lot going, going on. on. But like, like you said, there's no need to sugarcoat. I'm gonna tell you, like I said, we love you. I love you, and I don't want to see you get hurt. You know, so I just tell you the truth, so you could be aware of these things. You know, it's on you to be soft. Just put a little like, extra seasoning on top. That's know, all. Like, just uh-huh. <laughs> I don't need that. Need no, no, I'm not gonna will, give it to you. Yeah. Okay, Michael so you broke down into, how. Michael will go into childhood trauma on my ass. Like literally, you don't understand. Like he hit, he he goes deep. Like. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> And I'm so, like, damn, why you got to be so mean about it? <laughs> what are you saying, Jay? No, I was going to say, so you broke down Mike. Who who else? No, and then, like I said, you, you're you oh. a little bit more, you, you're not judging. Like, you're not judging. You'll just, yeah. like, listen and, and give me your advice from a man's perspective and tell me. Like, you, you're, you, you deliver the same message Michael does, but in a way more. Nicer way, yeah. yeah. Calm way. Way nicer way. Uh, you know? But when I want to, like, when I need to feel like that boss bitch motivation, I'm sorry, can I curse here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah, you're good. yeah. When, <laughs> when I need to feel that boss bitch motivation, I will call my bro- Michael because Michael will yeah. be like, you're He's the one you that slaps you in the house. face to wake you the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Stop being a bitch. You own a house and you work hard and you do this and you work out every day. And you like, yeah. and I'm like, damn, he's right. No, I tell you, right. I tell you this. He's I right. said, listen, for what you have accomplished by yourself, and it's a lot, you know? A lot. You have a you, you and I and I commend. I said I'm proud of you. So the next person I got to come in, got to got to match that or more. You know what I'm saying? More, yeah, it could be more. a little bit less, but like you got to you got to compromise with that. And he could work with that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. he got to match you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got to put in. You, you can't. You got to come yeah. in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't yeah. be somebody. Oh, he got to have this. He got to be making this much money. He got right. It no. ain't got to be financial, no. but it's no, it doesn't. Like it doesn't. Trying. Can I, can I, no, can I tell you guys trying? my yeah, yeah, go, go. Guys I tell you guys my, my yeah. um what is the my list, right? And you tell me mm-hmm. if, if maybe it's too much or, or not, okay? Yeah. Okay. So here's one thing. He has to be he has to believe in God first. Like he has mm-hmm. to be God fearing, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um you don't gotta be a Bible thumper, but you have to believe in God and yeah. fear God. Um I would like him to be tall. I mean, he doesn't have to be like he I'm I'm tall, I'm five seven for a girl, so I'm pretty tall for a girl. So as long yeah. as you're like <laughs> five, 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 seven. Then you must got some big damn feet. <laughs> like, I'm not talking about size right now. I can't. Hey, listen. You if I go shopping, and I've been if, wearing them every day, so if, thank you. I, I feel you. So then, if I go shopping and you shop with me in the men's section, that's a flag. I'm sorry. <laughs> That is a flag. I'm not that's good. A we're, flag. Babe, we're the same size. What? We're the same size. Listen, I got the same sneakers at home. Put them shoes on. <laughs> oh, man. That was great. Ahead, okay. So, so, God fearing, tall, at least, like, you know, I mean, five, at least taller than five, nine. I mean, ideally, right. six feet would be great. But I, as long as you're five, nine or taller, gotcha. um, financially stable. Like, look, you don't have to make what I make. You don't have to make more than what I make, but you need to be financially stable. I'm not coming in to take you out of debt and to to handle that. Like, no, you need to be able to bring something to the table. Um, and I mean, you can have kids. I have kids. I'm okay with that. You need to be fit. Like you need to work out. Again, fit is, is important to me. Like I work out and I want to make sure that I have a partner that I can work out with. And we, it's a lifestyle, right? Like yeah. you can't be pulling. You ain't like, lying. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is a lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. So and, and you okay. gotta be mo- you gotta be motivated and driven. Like you have to wake up every morning and 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 want to do things. I just want, for example, like you know, I have a house and like I just want to date someone who wants to do house projects with me. Like let's let's do, you know, and, and I'm not trying to say like you have to contribute to my home. I'll do it at your house too if you have a house. I don't mind. I'm not gonna expect anything that I'm not willing to give in return. Yeah. So is is that <clears throat> list unrealistic? No, no, but I think it's you should start looking in the. You should start looking in the gym. 
just yeah, start that, there. Apparently, that's, 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 that's just right? Yeah. Because when you brought up there. the fifth part, that seemed like a pretty important part to you. <laughs> it did. It really did. Uh, so you got you got to understand too. These fit guys, you know what I'm saying? They're too much into themselves, and it's yeah, being hard too. You know, facts, listen. Yeah, I, I gotta that's say, a misconception because you could say yeah. that about a woman too. When I work out, and I'm not. I mean, I'm into myself. But you just but finished I'm, saying that you want somebody fit. And you can't be fat. You know what I'm saying? What what happened? <laughs> you know, like what happened? He likes to eat. I'm just. I'm just saying. You, I'm just. No, you never you know. You you can you can come across somebody that's not the fittest in the world, you know, and have all the other have things. Real real connection, you still have everything, but also yeah. might want to yeah. change his lifestyle. I'm not yeah. saying he has right. to, but might want to well, change his lifestyle. What if someone what if someone's fit but doesn't look fit? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, like he ain't got a shred, he ain't shredded, yeah, he ain't but shredded, you know, he you know he does a lot of Listen, Other activities and, in the gym, you know? and like I said, that, that, look, look, you guys have seen my exes, they're not like swole. Let's be no, serious. No, no, I, I've seen them all. I know that well, doesn't need to be a thing. I just want them to be physically active where we go for I, I, where we do okay. okay so they don't okay, have to be okay, gym okay. rats, they can, can maybe play some be, sports, yeah. they can. Never mind. Yeah. See, you, you, your face yeah, says yeah, it all. Yeah, they got to like, live in the gym. They, they, don't, live have in the gym. they don't have to have abs, Rico, right? Is that okay? Rico, you been going to the gym, bro? Yeah, he does. Every day. Yeah, every day. Every yeah, day. Yeah, every day. That like, nigga's my hard as fuck. Your shirt. Yeah, Rico, easy, easy. Keep the shirt on, Rico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rico's like, yeah, I do. Relax. The minute you said something, I feel like he wanted to stand up and take his shirt off. Relax, all right, bro? Hey, Rico, Rico, Rico. Take it off, bro. Give them what they want. Give them what they want, bro. Give the audience what they're waiting for. Right? That's it, you know? <laughs> but no, like, I'm not, I think, but you see, way, but listen, that's that's one of that's kind of what I was kind of in a way I was kind of explaining because I've never been the gym person, but I got with somebody that you know she's yeah, kind of into the that, gym. And she you know, she, she kind of like yeah. she didn't like Oh, oh I'm, if you don't go to the gym, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be with you no more, nothing like right. that. But she kind of like, you know, pushed me in a way, right. like you know, motivated, motivated me yeah. exactly. Motivated and you. ever since she did, I love it. Like yeah. you know, I don't. Sometimes I have my days that I don't want to do, and I, you know, whatever the case is. But when I'm in there and I get a little workout in, like it feels good. It makes you feel That's a little better thing, about yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Getting there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be honest with you. The hardest part is getting there. Well, it's easy for him. Actually, it's no, easy no, for him when it's right. downstairs. I when it's right downstairs. But when you're <laughs> actually in there, and, and I've done it, I've, I've worked, you know, I've had members, I've worked out full year. When you're actually in there and doing it, it feels oh, great. It's amazing. It's great. What I feel better? like the hardest part is just what, to get up out of your damn bed and what, actually go there no, and do it. Is. Yeah. But what feels it's better crazy. is the results. The results yeah. feel yeah. great, yeah. you know, hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Yeah. But like I said, Mama, your standards, the way you sound right now, that you want to build this guy to be Ken, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> you know? It's just not. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have to work at it too. You're gonna have to create your best. You may have Ken. to you may have to build a bear. Yeah. You, you may have, have to build, build a bear, Mama. <laughs> okay, there's right. nothing wrong. But, but I can mean... I say something? Can I say something? I'm not asking for anything on that list that I don't bring to the table myself. So no. yeah, but that's you though. You're that's not gonna get. You're not gonna. No one's gonna find the perfect person that they're writing down for. It's not. that nope. It don't work that way. Yeah. Have no. you ever met the person that you just talked about? Nope. No. Have we? No. None of us even end up marrying or dating the person we really want to. You'd marry be lucky if you get two out of those five. All those things oh, you just no, wrote down. No, no. See, there you go. But that's there you. you that's and this is for myself. This is why you got one pillow in your bed. <laughs> Damn, mama, you only sleep with one pillow? I got like no, I got four me, pillows. Me, I'm about to <laughs> Mike's talking about the one pillow that she cuddles with. <laughs> about to get me a body pillow though. Oh my lord! Yeah, just you know, like AJ said, maybe yeah. you want to just. See, maybe one guy has one or two of those qualities, maybe three. Start off, start off slow. Yeah. Come see what you be like, work your way up. You know, got a connection, you know, and then you build a bear. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, for real though, like Rico said, Rico said he didn't work out like that. If you talk to somebody or date someone who doesn't do one or two of those things, yeah, right. and they see how you are right. doing those things, Maybe they'd be like, oh, maybe I should try it. Or maybe exactly. she's doing it so much. Let me see right. if I would like it. You know, if I mean? they're really that into you, they'll yes. be willing to yeah, take that motivate the that you like yeah. to do. Yeah. 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 It's like you might like to take up the things they like to do, you know, yeah. vice versa. Just you think about know. it. How many more options you could have if you took down that list a little bit? Yeah. A little bit. 
and you may oh, find a guy who's maybe really nice. Yeah. Hey, yeah, and they'll be like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow morning? I'm going to the gym. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym with you. Is that okay? Yep. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's little things. Yeah. Take yeah. baby steps. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Don't take the glass hot, you know, full already. You know, let me saying? ask you a question. Do your single friends all have the same list <laughs> going? <Ooh. laughs> some of them, some of them are, are a little some of them have some of them have longer <laughs> lists. Some of them want, yeah, some of them want no kids. Um, yeah. which honestly, I've dated a man, I've dated both. I've dated a guy with kids, a guy with no kids, and I personally think that when they have kids, um, they're more family oriented. No, they're, 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 yeah. they're more family 100 They're more selfless. The guys that yeah. don't have children. They're selfish. They're not used to having to share their time or, or well, you know they don't I mean? know. They don't, they don't just don't know. They, and and, and yeah, it's not kids, saying you can't. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. guys that don't have kids don't know that. It's not mm-hmm. saying that you can't find that guy that doesn't have any kids and still love you and your kids. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm-hmm. it's hard. It's you know? hard. Yeah. But the one that has the kids, they know already, you already have something in common, you know, stuff like that. You could do dates with them, with his kids and stuff like that. And that's where you build the bond, the strong and everything, the love. Yeah, no, I prefer Family a man range. with children. I really do. Yeah. Not because okay, it's well just then, it's easier. Well then, that's yeah. not you my list. start doing that. Have you, you tried know? Christian Talk Mingle, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, you guys, that's another thing. Those dating sites, those are not for me. Those are scary. You have some really oh, yeah. crazy guys. Yeah, there'd be a lot of weird yeah. A lot of catfishes. Just, a lot of yeah. catfishes. And now that I, yeah. you know, I own a house, you can literally just type my name in and, and see my address, and I, I, yeah. I don't want to have to. Hello. Scary. You know. <laughs> listen, hey, listen, Why mama, you, you need to start. Hello? You need, you need to start. You need to start. You need to, you, listen, this is the problem. This is what you need to start doing. Take your kids, right? Take you and your kids and go to Chuck E. Cheese. You know what I'm saying? You might find a father with a kid there. You know? That's a good dad. That's what, that's what you got to do. You know? I can't tell you the last time I went to Chuck E. Cheese. No one's maybe, saying. Maybe, well, maybe that's start. the problem. You're going to the wrong places. Yeah. You're going to the wrong places. You're not going to find them at Social Chuck Club. E. You're not going to find them at the Wharf. You're not going to find There's them There's a there. couple places you can go. Yeah. yeah. You know? CB Smith Park. You got to go somewhere <laughs> where there's a lot of family at. You know what I'm saying? There's family oriented. There's people there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't be going to these clubs, these lounges. You're not going to find them. You're not going to know nothing. What about you know? golfing? What about golfing? Listen, whatever is going to tickle your boat, that's what you do then. I don't know. I can't tell you what not to do. Listen, you're getting well, you're telling me we're not right. to you're go. Saying, you're right. saying, so you're saying, you're not saying the golfing. Place. I'm golfing. asking if golfing is. Golf, come on. Be realistic. Well, golfing golfing is not have, there. Let's golfing do is something you have to do with the person. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Say, hey, can I get a cart? And you're gonna go drive around looking for somebody. That's not gonna work. Hey, you know how to play golf? No, I'm just looking for my next man. Like, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 and, and Mama, really? How long you been single or looking for this this Ken? <laughs> how long? No, honestly, how long? Uh, I I not long. Not long. Well, listen. She's been there's looking for Ken for a while. Yeah, she's there's, been looking for Ken for a while. No, I've been other, in and out of her, uh, the same there's relationship. There's also the other alternatives. Years. Maybe you could be going the other way. You know, you Michael. Might, you, you know, know you listen. See, I'm just saying. No, you don't no, know this. this. You don't so know many this. Times. You I have. Never you like have a lot. Of, you, How many listen, times have you guys had this conversation? He tries to get me to get every time. No, no, no. He wants it more than I do. Listen, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. You have seven. You have seven. Hold on. You got seven single girlfriends. Oh, it happens. It happens. Well, you got. Hold on. Well, look, hold on. He's not wrong. Listen, if you guys are all going listen, down the same path, you listen, might as well take the same path. Listen, you got seven. You got, got seven, seven single girlfriends. <laughs> you got seven single girlfriends. Maybe those six need to get together, and the other one needs to be out. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You never know. You guys are looking for the. I can't. Just, man. I'm just saying. Just, it's just a thought. Just a That's thought. That's funny. That's funny. No, absolutely right. not. Hey, you brought this up all upon yourself, right? This is what you want. This is what you're going to get. All right? And what is that uh, you're drinking? Right. Ginger ale. Oh, ginger. oh my God. Oh. Oh, the Rico, best kind. where's your drink at, Rick? Speak, speaking of ginger ale, don't get ready, the Mike. best ginger ale, you know? Nobody believes in that swept shit. Right, Rick? What is no, your favorite not. soda? I drink them all. Oh, oh soda? My favorite soda? We like, mine is soda? Dr. Pepper and ginger ale. Why not? Oh, uh, you're saying Dr. Pepper Dr. and ginger ale. Dr. Pepper. Oh, if you have worst. to choose between Dr. Pepper and ginger ale, what you going with? It depends. On what? I ain't gonna lie. Drink, got... She's not drinking liquor, would it? I know, but Nothing I just feel like ginger ale. Coca-Cola, bro. I'm sorry, bro. 
I'm just, I'm sorry, yeah, bro. A cherry coke, maybe like just cherry coke. coke. Cherry, coke, cherry is coke is fire. It is. Sure. It is. I could do cherry coke too. Listen, if we're gonna get into some stuff like about food or stuff like that, I can tell you right now, the best French fry out there. Okay? <laughs> I can tell you right now. I know there's a lot of French fry franchises, stuff like you might want to go down. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the <laughs> best French fries. <laughs> what is it, Mike? What is it, Mike? What is it, Mike? It's Wendy's. When that this cat, hell, 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 no. hell, 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 Crispy fries, <laughs> crispy. They ain't crispy. never gonna make them crispy for you. I'm though. telling you, <laughs> listen, Wendy's, Wendy's, Wendy's doesn't know what crispy there's is. Mike. Batches. There's a what? crispy one and there's a regular one, or, is, or you just gotta ask for them crispy. Listen, you tell them you want crispy fries right? and Wendy's, and they're right? gonna give it to you. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life. You're gonna think about no <laughs> listen, McDonald's is always gonna be up there at the top, 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 always. But okay, but you're saying Wendy's is at the top Wendy's. of your list. Yes, because you nah. got to ask for crispy fries. You guys nah. just give it to you how you take it. Let me get fries. Nah. And that's it. No, ask for crispy fries. Guarantee you, Wendy's top. It must be a New York thing. I give you one thing. Fries. They're better than. They're better than Burger King. That's it. No, nah, Burger King. The yeah, Burger King might have the worst. Burger King, yeah, to no. me, by far, is the worst French fry. All right, so Who's ahead, your go-to? Who's, Who's your best? Go ahead. Who's yours? Who's the best? Yeah. No, there's no such thing as the best. What's your no. favorite? What's your favorite? And no tell me why. What's your favorite, JJ? Man, if I had to go with Checkers Fries. That, I, mean, I was thinking of that. And I don't hey. eat there enough only because I don't like their burgers. Okay. I don't like their that's food. Fair. I so like their shit, fries. This shit's greasy as fuck. I, yeah. That yeah, shit gives you the shit. That shit yeah. is Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I can't <laughs> fuck with their food. But if their between fries were served between anywhere between else, checkers and I would fuck Bell? with their fries all day long. No lie. Mama, and then who's yours? McDonald's oh, is second. Bad, Sorry, I had to throw it a second. No, no, you're McDonald's good, you're is a straight second. Mama, who's yours? You want to throw in a? You want to throw in a third, Jay Lee? <laughs> 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 no, how Chick Fil A waffle fries. My bad. <laughs> Chick Fil A waffle fries, like those are I, fire. They are. Those are fire. Those are fire. They are. But I they're. See, I see. I see Chick Fil A. I see high, high maintenance. I see you, mama. You know, <laughs> this, is, this is where your standards are. You know what I'm saying? When I see Chick Fil A, I personally don't. Money. I don't. I don't go to. I don't eat at Wendy's or. Uh, I know. Or I know because you're too good for it. You know what I'm saying? You, you move on up. You know what I'm saying? I go where it goes for my pocket. You know what I'm saying? And Wendy's fits my pocket. I just you know had Wendy's saying? tonight, so you know? there you go, is. Jay. There you go. <laughs> and were the fries? Like and were the fries crispy? Well, they. I had a baconator fries, so they actually were. You know, a little. Uh, hey. Because it teased a little. Crispy they had to throw. They, they had to throw a bunch of shit on top to make it taste good. <laughs> to make right? it better, yeah. You don't, don't got to do Chick Fil A or McDonald's. They right, they taste so much better fries. with the cheese and bacon on top. Because without them, they're just mid. They're they're okay. Hey, you yeah. know. Hey, what about you, Rick? Rick, what's up, Rick? What's yours? Wendy's fries are gas. Another one. I'll put it with them. Mike, let him know. Extra crispy. Oh, sushi is a gas. He's just talking close as fuck. Hey, I got to say to Reek. Reek, I got to clap it up for you, Reek. See? Our first episode, right? They gave us some critique. They said, they said, Reek. Was lost. Was, yeah. <laughs> lost in the camera. Hey, lost in the camera. In the hey, camera. Hold on. Right. Camera, hold lost on. in the camera. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. He said, oh, what are you talking about? Nah, I'm, I'm good. I don't like that. Hey, you changed it up. You changed it up. <laughs> you fought it, yeah, we... but you changed it up. You changed it up. See, I'm telling you, look, Rick, you're gonna get you're gonna get criticism, you're gonna get people's opinions, you're gonna you get look a listen, little it look, you're right, Mike. Closer, that, that, yeah, that, that, it looks, yeah, it looks yeah, better, sure. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. My yeah, wife yeah, told yeah. me that I needed more light. I, I tweaked it. I tweaked it a little bit. Three light bulbs. I mean, you know? <laughs> three light bulbs. Three light bulbs. Every light bill this month. <laughs> you know? The bill going to be high. You know? But it don't matter. She said, the light. we needed more light. I got more light. You know? I listened to her. This, see, mama, hey, take notes. Kid. This is compromising. You got to listen to You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These things you got to do. You know? Uh, 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 but, uh, yeah. hey, it's, it's, Sam, we got two Wendy's. Two Wendy's. AJ, we got Chick Fil A and John Lee said Checkers. Yeah, Honestly, I didn't hear you, Jay. 
What you got? My favorite French fries right now are Taco Bell's French fries. Those shits are amazing. What the nacho I fries? Lie. Nacho I can't fries. lie. They the are really good. good. They are really good. They're, really good. They're seasoned. They're seasoned right to death. That's whatever, the problem. Yeah, whatever's on, really things, whatever's on those things. really good. Whatever is on those things. But come on, thing, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're not as hold crunchy. On. I see like someone making a couple fries. of faces. Hold on, Mama. What's up with you? I mean, Excuse I thought. Oh, hold on, hold on. Have you had them? I don't think Mama's ever ate Taco Bell in her life. I never had. No, no. And if she did, about a burrito. I didn't say nothing about a quesadilla. I didn't say nothing about a Doritos taco. I said the French fries. Hey, you won't catch me. You won't catch me in a Taco Bell drive-through. Why not? Like, Why not? like like Mike said, this is your problem right now. It's your problem. This, this is what we're the trying guy, to help you out with. Maybe guy, you need to pull up to a Taco hold Bell. Hold on. The guy of your dreams could be in Taco Bell right now. Ordering <laughs> no, no, he ain't. Hey, no, because that's what you want to believe. Telling me guys that don't work out in the gym, don't go eat Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I've seen it all the, I've seen it all the time. Come on, bro. I'd love to hear that. You see it all the time. I wish Tell you had just seven other single friends in here with you right now, so I can tell them where they all go we eat. Got at. Okay. All their yeah. list. Yeah, I got one here right now. Do you ever go to Taco Bell? You ever go to Wendy's? <laughs> well, nope. She's single, Tell right? Yes, yeah, she's single. Yeah, she, I think there you guys go. need to you rework guys, your list. Maybe you guys should go to a Taco Bell and a Wendy's together and see maybe what happens. Maybe you should all put your list together <laughs> and uh, just I, work a, on it. A guy, if, if a guy you're dating says, "Hey, I'm gonna go eat some Taco Bell," what are you gonna say? No, no, no. No. Oh, no. what? What do you mean? No. Why? 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 You know, how, first of all, that food is garbage for you. Like, okay, it's so you, bad. Come on. Don't, like, don't act like you didn't grow up eating that shit. I did. I did. Okay. But that doesn't mean so I want to eat it. Did it hurt bad. you back then? Did it, it, did it hurt? You know, what? what is, you have what a bad experience? You? Yeah, like, what? what, what? Uh, you know, the problem is once they start putting calories up on everything and start letting everyone know what was in the Hey, that's what everyone's see, like. And this, is, and this is where I come to John Ali for advice. Look at him. He he starts to side with me. He's like, You're right, Mama. They have the calories oh, up there. No, right. what I'm saying He's is right. that I but that's when it started driving everyone crazy. When in, in the past it didn't mean anything. It, everyone lived, everyone ate it, everyone lived, everyone food was food. Was food. Ain't nobody food was shit. food. Food is yeah. food, bro. I mean, don't people, get me wrong. People there's, look too much into shit and they watch there. documentaries. You guys, you and yeah, you have you guys, never had a fucking Baja blast before? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? That's my son's favorite <laughs> drink, though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Baja <laughs> blast is fire, though. I can't lie. <laughs> <It does. laughs> <laughs> no, I never had that. Oh you know, my god! You know, I love, I love Wawa. So if a guy tells you he's gonna go eat Wawa, what are you gonna say? <laughs> Wawa. Wawa is the shit. Wawa is the shit. Wawa, Wawa, is, the Wawa shit. is the shit. You can fill up your gas tank and your stomach at the same time. <laughs> well, what other place you can do that at? Hold on. So time out. You, you're with your guy, Mama, and he wants to decide where to eat. It's like eight o'clock at night. You guys are home chilling. You guys need to go out and grab something quick. Uh-huh. You got no. What are you eating? I rather okay. Um, it's eight o'clock, and we want to get something to eat. Chick fil A. Chick fil A. All right. Fuck that eight o'clock shit. Hold on, hold on. Leaving the club, yeah. y'all drunk. It's, it's, it's two restaurant. o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's Give, two yeah. o'clock in the morning. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. What are you having there? Steak you only got a couple. You only got a couple steak options. And steak and yeah. shake. <laughs> They're all fast food restaurants. Yeah, hold on. Steak and shake is 45 yeah. minutes away. Taco Bell is seven minutes away. You're losing you your point right here, minutes, Mama. Yeah. There's yeah, no mama. difference between yeah, Taco Bell and steak, steak and shake. Hey. I'm going to let you know that right now. Oh, There's no difference. Yo, fuck all that shit. Mama, here. Here's another seven years being single. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, I haven't been single for seven years. But I'll just, hey, listen, what, whatever it is. I feel like that's bad. No, wait, whoa, whoa, stop it, stop it. I feel like that's bad luck to cheers to that. You, just, <laughs> you, were, you, you, already, you already put your glass in the air. Drink that hey, shit. You gotta go, this has got to go down now. Listen, I'm just trying to tell Here's you. Here's to me finding the guy that checks all the boxes this year. Watch. And I'm going to bring him on the podcast. And I'm going to show okay. you guys. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. You know what? Good luck. Let After you go me, and check your list and like bring it down a little bit, couple notches, no, he'll be there for sure. I'm gonna tell you right now, you ain't You're finding your man with all them boxes checked. <laughs> and if you do, and if you do, bring him on the show, and I bet you he got something in that closet. <laughs> I bet you he got something in that closet. I bet you. If he has all them boxes checked, I bet you he's a little. Mm. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, ain't no, ain't no man in here checking all his boxes. 
he got to have some rough something on him. I'm like, nah, I'm getting yeah. tackled out of night. Mike, Mike, what is he, Mike? Mike, what is he, Mike? I'm just, I'm just, and, 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 and there's nothing wrong with that. There isn't. There isn't. I'm not saying there is. I'm just saying be careful what you choose and what you want because I'm saying there's always something behind that. Always. Why would you want something? Really you you acting for a perfect man. That's what you want. No, I'm not. You're I'm saying. not asking for she wants a perfect man. She, she wants a perfect man by her standards. Yes, which, there's nothing, there wrong, with having nothing your wrong with that for any no. female in this world. Of course. Thank you. But I don't know. what we're trying to say is your right. list is a little long. It is a little like long. Like I said, all jokes aside, we're joking, but you got to compromise something and hopefully something that thing does pop up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Something yeah. has to work give. You're not giving them anything. You guys, I have five things on my list. That was Yeah, not even that it's long. Not even that it's long, but maybe. Take one thing out of the list and add something <laughs> back in the list. You know, has change it up a little bit. This far? Uh, has it been working it. this I'll far for you? Yeah, and listen, if it hasn't yeah. been working this far, maybe you want to just readjust it a little bit. That's all. I you wouldn't know? say it hasn't been working. I just haven't really been out there. Oh, okay. So and it's from okay. Your list, from your list, from your list, from your list, the five things you said, what is the one thing you'd be willing to sacrifice and not worry about as much? The fit. The fit. I could, I guess I'd have to. No, no, what you have to. to yeah, that's but, like, whoa, that's yeah, no, but, see, come on, bro. This, we're not telling you what is, you think. We're not telling you what you should do. No, we're telling I you know, what you would be I'm, okay with. I'm, I'm not going to. I want a guy who's God-fearing, so that's not coming off my list. There you go. I guess yeah. the height. I guess the height I could take off, too, but yeah. I, I really don't want to be And you said you're, for there. the audience again, you said you're a 5'7". seven. <laughs> What? Size, size what? What? Size what? what? What size shoe do you come in? <laughs> it's a seven, not a nine. <laughs> Listen, right. Listen, we all want to see you happy, mama, at the end of the day. Yeah. You know? Because at the end of the day, that guy that you meet got to go through all four of us. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, maybe not Rico because maybe not Rico. Rico, 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 Rico. Really and you know, up, but... you know when Rico gets mad, nobody wants to fuck with him. Nobody you know fucks with him. That's a pit bull right there. It's a pit bull. Stay away from all the drama, bro. I'm not yeah. with none of it. When it has to come down to, that's what we go get. Yeah. Hey, like I said, cheers to you and your findings of this guy. You know, all of this. You know, I, I wish you nothing but the best. Yeah. But for your other seven friends. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You got I'm just trying to say you gotta you gotta you gotta go out with someone that's married too, because they could they know, you know, you can't get advice from a single person that's looking for the same thing as you. You're not gonna find them. You're not. It's hard. Cause one, all you girls go out together, you know what I'm saying? So if one finds one, the other one doesn't, the other three don't, you know, but like, oh, but he don't do this, he don't do that. You know, you can't get advice from someone that don't got. You don't. You're all looking for the same more, guy. When you're hanging out with that many single people, it's more of a party vibe than an actual yeah. grown up type. Not of, really. Me yeah. and my girls, we really don't party a lot. We do a lot of like, a lot what? of like, we'll we'll brunch. Can we watch the same Instagram. Yo, <laughs> like, like, this is, we're we still friends on Instagram. She said we'll brunch. Do you guys know what people do at brunch? Yeah. 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 The Madeline yeah. account. Oh, I've been watching the Mama yeah. account. The Mama yeah. account. Yeah. You, you, don't, you don't gotta lie. You don't gotta lie, Craig. I've had the professional Madeline account. Can you send me that one? I want that one. I want that. I want that business account. Actually, I'm gonna go watch the game Saturday night with my girlfriends. Um, where do you guys? What's some sports bars you guys recommend to watch the game at? The Dolphins game. Oh, uh, yeah. Sports bars. Hooters. So. Hooters, and baby. I, a, Hooters is where it's at. Watch the game in the bar, personally. No, listen. Only if I only if I have to. But if hey, I bro. prefer, yeah. I prefer to be in front of an actual TV where I can oh, hear the game. Yeah. The but bars are too loud. Me, you tagging me? I'm going to Hooters. Right. <laughs> Yeah, this guy in Hooters, forget about it. This guy Hooters. You got this everything man in loves him. Hooters. You got sports, you got boobs, you got food, you got everything. <laughs> and if, that, if that's the case, for. I'm pretty sure she doesn't care about the boobs part. But if that's the case, no. you don't like twin, you don't like Twin Peaks. I like Twin Peaks. Yeah, yeah. Twin Peaks is good. Twin I've been to good. a spot when I went into Tampa one time. Um, Ford's Garage. You ever heard of Ford's Garage? We don't, I don't think we have that. Done. No, no. There's one here. There's one here, and. By the Broward Mall. I haven't been to it yet, but there it's nice. What happened? Nice uh, what happens to that place you went to last time, Mama? The Hard Rock, the the sports one. 
Oh, you know, you have to be gambling to be closer to the big TV. So it wasn't it wasn't oh. as good as I thought it. But it was pretty. The TV is huge. I saw the but, pictures. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, is that the Hard Rock. Yeah, yeah, the Hard Rock. It's pretty cool. Hard is nice. Like, can I ask you something real quick? When you go to these places to meet, say if you met meet someone, right? I think your biggest thing too that you're doing wrong is I don't know if you're doing it, but if you are, I think it's wrong. If you meet somebody. Right, and then you're gonna bring him up to one of your single friends. Don't do that. I'm I'm just I'm being real with you. Keep that with because you don't want no feedback from a single person. Let that that three months that you have with that person marry hard. Take it in. I think that's hard. No, I know it's hard. It's hard. Mama's really close. Not even for mama. Not even for mama. So when when it comes to a girl, I'm not saying I know, but. If you're dating someone, you're gonna to talk to your friends about it because they yeah. want to know that. Yeah. To know we, know, we know everything. How you kiss, how you grab, think, how you I everything. Think, yeah. I think that's wrong. Which is very that's too. That it was just too detailed. If you ask me, you know but I, no. But I'm saying is I kind of understand what he's saying. You're doing that. You do that with your sister. You know what I'm saying? But if you do it with single girls that want something too, I just think it's wrong because you. I don't. I don't feel like. They're giving you the right advice, the right genuine, like because, like you said, you could say one thing off the night. You're right, you know. Us, someone else, would like give them a chance. Are you Let saying it's better like, for her to go seek her advice with, to a married woman that she knows instead not, of a single even, woman? Like that, let that just sink in. Give it three months of your like let let it see it work. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to say everything you do with your friends that you just met somebody. Oh, but he did this, but he did that. Nothing's gonna be perfect, that's saying, and that's yeah, what I think you guys are wrong. Yeah. At. You guys want everything to be perfect. It's not going to happen, you know? He's trying to Let say, it. so let's say you just started talking to someone. Hold on. You go on a date, and you're questioning what he just did on this date, and you go tell your single friend, and she gives you some type of negative feedback. Now, that negative feedback is going back to you. Yes. Yeah, you don't you even guys, know the guy enough to. automatically assume that she gives me negative feedback? What no, no, no I didn't I'm, say that. I'm just, we're just, he, that's what he's trying no, no, to get that's, I'm saying that shit. Yeah, it's single. <laughs> of course it's going to be negative. It's single. I don't want no. to hear it. No, Listen, you're wrong. They, you know, it could be positive too. No, it yeah, be positive it, too. that can't always be negative. Yeah, but, but he's I'm not yeah. saying negative. He's not saying negative either. But what he's saying is whatever feedback they're giving you, you're letting that be part of your judgmental part on this person. You know what I mean? Like you just started talking to this person after a couple of weeks. You didn't even get to fully know him yet to be telling somebody else, and they're automatically telling you what you should or shouldn't do or what mm-hmm. what he's doing wrong. You know what I mean? You it's, understand it's what I'm saying? Because yeah. They, they they gave you advice and then you already told him something that you didn't like and then he's like I'm going on another date with him oh but didn't you just tell me mama that he did this did that you know I'm just yeah. saying some things shouldn't be said you, you know let it let it yeah. let give him a third date give him a fifth date give him a sixth date you gotta have that you know what I'm saying some things you shouldn't say because because at the end of the day if this is your future man you're not gonna want to tell your girlfriends everything about this guy yeah. you don't. Yeah. once once you get into a serious relationship yeah. that's gonna hope that's gonna flip you're not yeah. going to tell them everything no. that's going on. 100%. You're going to keep that to yourself. So yes. maybe think of it in that, that kind of true. way. That is maybe. true. That is true. It's crazy how that works, how early on you say a lot more, but as it goes on, mm-hmm. you become mad. You're serious. Yourself. You're engaged. You're married. And then you keep a lot more stuff to yourself as you get A lot older. more stuff. And it should Never. work a lot like that in the beginning, too. Um, Listen, a lot of times it doesn't, though. It doesn't. Don't let nobody know that's your next it. move, you know? Yeah. Just... We're here to help you. you know? <laughs> We're here to help you. you know? yeah. I was thinking about going to uh no, I take that advice, Michael. Thank you. Um, I was thinking about oh. going to World of Beer. Have you guys ever watched the games at World of Beer? Uh, World of Beer is good. World of Beer's World got Beer's good food. Great. Yeah, food's good too, but food's good there. So hold up. Are we really going to this place to watch the game or are you finding somebody? <laughs> I'm not, first of all, hopefully, both. You can find a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actively looking for someone. You're, you're like, asking us, yeah, that's not on friends. the list. That's not on the list. A dolphin fan, uh, no, it doesn't. Have, I mean, no, I would really, I would on, really love I'm for kidding, him. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I would really love for him to be in fantasy and football and into all of that, but that yeah, doesn't want tell him we got a spot for him. Oh, but he got to be in the gym. I mean, mommy, our priorities here. I mean, Yo, sports should be here, place, honestly. Bro. Gym should you, be a little down here, place. you know what I mean? I am not all over the place. Yes, you are, no. bro. Fix your hair. You're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to the to World of Beer to meet anybody. I'm just going there with my girlfriends to watch the game and have a good time. If they're happy. Do you meet somebody there? 
cheers to you. Exactly. Like I said, do what you want to do. It's your way. <laughs> I can't. I can't. The I mean can't, side I can't. is starting to come out. No, because this is, it's, I'm tired of holding your hand. I'm not doing this shit you know. I'm not doing it. Listen, I've been trying to tell you for the longest oh that you're beautiful, you're hardworking, you got this, you got that. You need somebody that's going to bring the same energy to you as you are. You know what I'm saying? Nothing less. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to do. All right? That's it. Keep your head up. And then if he doesn't do what you want to do, there's someone else out there. I don't know where, but it is. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, listen, I told you I'm working. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna do what you want to do. Listen, I can't, I can't, you know. Listen, I'm happy to have you on the show, first of all. You know? Yes. No, hey, you guys. It's, you guys. it's been great. Yeah, Before yeah, we end, great. I, I don't know, I don't yeah. know how long you guys want to go for, but mm -hmm. I was thinking that uh -oh. we could have the people vote to see if I can come back. <laughs> you are coming no, back. No, no, no. What you mean? Coming back. You coming it's back. Coming back. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know how many yeah. times you're coming back, but you're coming <laughs> yeah. back. Sure. You're, coming back. <laughs> you know? sure. you're, you're definitely coming back, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We worry about that. Yeah, 100%. Okay. We appreciate you being here. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me on my Definitely birthday. It was a great Friday. time. No, sure. no problem. Hey, happy birthday again, you know? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, Mike, happy you birthday. Right, right here. He had Johnny. to put it down. My, my Rita, 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 what are you drinking, Rick? Look, wow. You know, I'm, 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 I'm going to take the last <laughs> little. Pour one more. Hold on. Last pour little sweet You ain't fooling nobody. Here we go. Slow down, Rick. Slow down, Slow down, Rick. You're not driving tonight, are you, Rick? <laughs> Knocking out right there. <laughs> yep. Cheers to Mama again. We love you. We go. We go. Now, Rick, I got some. Rick, don't try me. That shit's there. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Hey, 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 so, oh. all right, guys. Have, have so the time. next one, so the next one, guys. Yeah.